Hello, time for a new video, I guess. Um, this is X32 Reaper version 1.4. Uh, compared to previous versions, you can see that there are new uh, elements, new blocks. Uh, essentially, the X32 in, X32 aux, bus, FX, and DCA, which will enable to select which tracks of Reaper will match to X32 channels. Let me show you. So we start by running the program. Of course, the rest of the setup has been uh, set correctly so that the X32 has its correct IP address and uh, the Reaper host IP and the uh, server uh, receiving and sending ports are correctly set up. So we start running. And if I go to my uh, Reaper program, which you will see is quite busy, so this is my Reaper uh, session. Give you a little more field here. So in my Reaper section, basically I built a template with 32 channels with auxiliary in yellow channels, as well as the USB in blue here. I have also the FX returns, as well as a DCA section in gray and my 16x32 bus sends. Um, what happens now is that I can play actually with all of these uh, between the x32 and Reaper and I can also manage the send, you know, the bus, the bus sends from Reaper as well as from the x32 directly. Uh, of course, uh, channels work as they used to work before. I'll try to uh, give you a little bit more room, so we'll play with uh, um, channel 32, or you know, one of those channels that you can see basically um, on the screen and on the X32 at the same time. Let me try to get that here. Um, so this is channel 32 here. I'm going to select that channel, and if I click on the right button, you can, you know, I switch the bank on the X32, you can see that the select button has been moving. I'm going to select channel 31. Hopefully, you know, things are moving. If I select this channel 32 again, you will see that here, channel 32 will be selected. I can actually change, of course, um, fader, which will make the X32 fader move. Same on the other way around. Um, solo, mute, work as expected. And the pan actually is working as well. So if I move the pan section on the X32, you will see that this pan here will change from center to full right or full left, you know, and it works both ways as well. What's new is basically uh, things work also for the auxiliary uh, section or the FX. Uh, the FX, if you remember, on the X32 are actually uh, banged together, so two by two. So we have, you know, if I move this guy, those two on the X32 are going to move. Same on Reaper. Okay, if I move this guy here. Two of them are going to move on the X32, same on Reaper. What's also new is um, it works also for auxiliaries, and you know, if I move this pen, this here, we'll move the right section, and here, this is for USB, which have been banked together. Um, what's new as well is that uh, now the DCAs actually are controllable. Um, so on the top right, you can see my DCAs on the X32 and on the screen as well. I can move actually my DCAs, okay, and they will move as well. I can double click here and they will move. Um, mute also works on, on DCA. Select does work. Um, on that side, but it doesn't, you know, on the X32, because on X32, if you use select, it is used actually to 
put together different channels on the DCA. You can notice that on my um, panel here, I don't have any I.O. actually for my DCAs. Um, last thing is the bus section. I have a 16 bus section here, which correspond to my buses on the X32. Okay, and I can move these guys as well. Um, the pan control works, mute, select, or solo, sorry, work as well. Select works also. This is now showing that this guy has been selected. Um, and basically, um, you know, this gives a lot more possibilities for people who want to record and manage a uh, more serious uh, Reaper recording with uh, using the X32 as a control surface as well as audio interface. Um, just to give you an idea, um, this is the matrix uh, for my current session project. Um, it's quite complex but at the same time it's quite simple. Um, so these are my inputs. Okay, nice diagonal, 32 inputs. We are full section here of 16 buses, you know, going to the outputs, as well as, uh, now let me try to get that here, as well as basically my bus sense matrix. Obviously there are some areas which are uh, blacker or, or whiter than others, it all depends on the value of the sands because I've been playing with that for a while um, and which is probably something that I can show you as well um, let's say I'm playing with channel number my preferred channel 31, 32 okay so I'm here on channel 32 okay and I'm gonna be playing with those let's say bus 1. Bus 1 is currently at 0 and I'm going to move basically on that channel the bus sand so that it gets a different value and you can see that from the X32 I can actually manage the sand okay and if I select another one so this is my sand for this guy here if I select this guy Okay, I can actually play with it and it will change on the X32 the value of the, uh, the, the sand. I'm not playing with the right one so nothing happens. Um, this guy here, okay, that will make the X32 um, corresponding bus sand move. And I'm going to show you that as well. So if you look at my sands over there, this is this guy here. You can see that it will change accordingly to you can see the LEDs, the LEDs actually moving on the right side of the, the button, the encoder. Okay, this is me moving the sand value of channel 32 on bus number two. Well, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, new enhancements to X32 Reaper. Thank you. Bye-bye.